Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about black and white conversion and I'm going to be talking about how to do that using SilverFX Pro 2, which is a dedicated black and white conversion tool, which is part of the Nick Collection 3. And we'll be looking at that right after this. Alrighty, so as I said, today we're going to be looking at black and white conversion. And to do that, I'm going to be using an image of a, a, an echidna and showing you the black and white conversion process. Now, before I get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what black and white is. And now this may seem a little bit um, obvious, but black and white is clearly an absence of color. But it's far more than that. And I think sometimes there's a little bit of a misnomer that black and white is just the absence of color. And so what I've done in this image is I've taken the same image and I've just desaturated the colors. So this is exactly the same image, but I've desaturated the colors. It's not a proper black and white conversion and you lose a lot of the, um, detail and tonality and all of those sorts of things that you get in a proper black and white conversion. But it shows you what a monochrome image is from this color. Now, what I wanted to then do was show you an example of a black and white conversion. And so the left hand side is the monochrome image the right hand side is really pretty much the same image but i've used silver effects pro 2 to do that conversion now like all forms of photography a lot of this is going to be subjective and some people may say oh well, that's a little bit too grungy or i don't like it but when you look at the detail in the right hand side compared to the left hand side i think that it's clear that you know, there's a lot more um, detail and it's done better job of contrast and structure and all of these things that can sometimes be subtle in a black and white photo, but they are really important. Now, what I did with this was I used the Nick Collection and this was Nick Collection 3 and specifically a plugin within it called Silver FX Pro 2. Now, Silver Effects Pro 2 is an industry leader for black and white conversion, and it's more than simple desaturation. What it does is it has a range of unique algorithms within it to try and convert into a black and white image, but to adjust the, the colors and things so that you get a much better image so it's more than just desaturating it's looking at how can i get uh, a better conversion and a, a second part of this is that it also has a range of other tools within it that allow you to make more uh, localized rather than global adjustments so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go into my color image um, and i'm going to open this up in silver effects pro 2 um, and I'll bring that across to this screen and we'll then talk about conversion um, of this image. So this is the interface for Silver Effects Pro 2. I'll put it on single image view. And what the Silver Effects Pro 2 interface presents is on the left hand side, there's a whole range of presets. Um, and these presets are really good starting points. Look, you might find that there's something within here that suits your image really well, um, in which case, yep, you can just pick it and um, apply the settings and go from there. But they can also be used as really good starting points, I think, and then you can build upon those. So I might decide that, yeah, actually, I like this fine art process. And if I want to see sort of the before and after, I can turn on split preview and slide that across. Now, again, like I said, black and white is about subtlety um, a lot of the time. So, you know, it, it's going to depend on what you want out of your image. Um, 
what I noticed with this though, is that I think the background is a little bit too bright. And I think that can take away from the focus on the subject, which is the echidna. So one of the features that Silver Effects Pro 2 has is something called control points. Now control points are powered by U-Point, which is one of their sort of, um, how would you describe it? It's like a, a localized um, selection tool, which allows you to make adjustments in very specific areas. Uh, and with the U-Point technology that it's built on, you can adjust things like brightness, contrast, structure. You can amplify whites and blacks. You can work on fine structure or even selective colorization. Now, in this case, I'm really just looking at brightness because what I want to do is I want to reduce the brightness of the background just to bring the focus a little bit more onto the echidna's face. So to do that, I'm just working around the echidna and reducing the brightness. And what I might also do is once I've reduced the brightness around the echidna, I might actually also increase the brightness of the echidna's face, just again, to bring focus back to that. Again, more control points. And what I like about these is that they do allow for really localized adjustment. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see that there are global adjustments. So I could adjust the brightness of the entire image, contrast, all of these different things, but that's of the entire image. So, you know, that's not necessarily something that you will want to do. It, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. And I'll just show you an example. So, you know, like I said, this is great if you need to make adjustments to the whole image, but there may be things that mean that, okay, you, you want more localized adjustment of contrast. Maybe you want to adjust contrast of the echidna's face, but not the background or, or vice versa. So if I want to see the before and after, I just click on this split preview. There's also a side-by-side -side preview, and you can see that it has made a pretty big difference. It's easy to see it this way. So it's just, I think, done a little bit more to the echidna's face and taken away some of the focus to the background. Now I'm just going to save this and then we're going to look at it again within um, Lightroom. But I'm going to look at it in terms of a comparison between the desaturated um, and the monochrome. Conversion on the left and we've got the desaturated on the right. So you can see it has made a big difference and it's been far more than just doing a reduction of color through desaturation. It's been really about how can we make improvements to this image and get a really good black and white out of a color image. Now, like I said, a lot of this is going to be subjective. So there are lots of different ways that you can do black and white conversions. And there are lots of tools as well. You can do them within uh, Lightroom or uh, even things like uh, Skylum's Luminar. I think most tools have some form of black and white conversion within them somewhere, um, depending on, of course, what you're using. But I think when you're really trying to get the best black and white conversions you can, you do need to look towards dedicated tools. And that's where something like Silver Effects Pro 2 comes in which as I said, is part of the Nick Collection 3, to really help get the best out of a black and white conversion and make the change far more than just, you know, desaturation and really focus on how can you get more out of the images, the subtlety of, of black and white as well. So I hope this has been useful. As always, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I know what it means.
times when we do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Yeah, I put out all the art, it's my only medicine. Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine. Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do, and I hope you let me in, let me in. Yeah.